Hi, I'm Steve Pace here. I'm the estate manager for iTutor and I uh, understand we're coming to your place, so uh, it's going to be great to catch up. The reason we're actually making this video for you is um, just like you, I, my wife said to me one day, we're going to have a gap finder assessment for our kids. My first question was, what's a gap finder assessment? Uh, I had no idea, so look, we put this together for you just to explain what's going to happen when we come out and we work with the children. Firstly, just to tell you a little bit about my story, um, we worked really hard to try and get the children both into um, private schools. And for us, it, it made things a little bit tight. When we got there, they said to us, you're gonna need extra support. And I was a bit miffed. Um, you're gonna need some, um, some, some tutoring, some extra classes, or you're gonna need some software. You're gonna need something. I found out why, because the children had gaps and everyone's children either have gaps or they've got a bit of a struggle on their hands. They might be right at the top of the class. And what they're finding at the top of the class is that uh, quite often the class is holding them back. So part of having an assessment, it, it's not a test, it's nothing scary for the children. What we're actually gonna be doing is identifying any little weaknesses or little cracks that have appeared over the last couple of years. I'm gonna show the children how to fill in their own cracks. Now, I would allow, allow 60 to 90 minutes. And the reason for that is, um, you're gonna have your own questions that you want answered, but you're gonna also learn a lot about the education system. Um, when, when, it came to, uh, when it comes to your reports, now right now we're getting A's, B's, C's, what's an A? Now, in high school, an A could be 75% or it could be 100%. So let's have a think about that. Imagine a child is bowling along quite nicely in the parent's eyes, getting an A, they understand 75% of the work. So that means one in four concepts they don't understand. But we don't get to find out what they are as parents. Our report doesn't tell us. Imagine now if that child slipped back just a little bit to a B. Now that B could be 1% less, it could be 74%, or it could be all the way down at 64%. Imagine, let's say, look at your heart surgeon. We head along to the heart surgeon. Imagine if one in three things he got wrong, one in three operations. Now, if he's conducting six operations a day, do you wanna be one of the two that he gets wrong? I don't, and I know I don't. Without knowing as a parent, we can't help. And one of the, I guess one of the worst things for a parent is not knowing how to help their own children. My wife's a school teacher and she wasn't able to help ours. Um, and the children get to an age where they're teenagers and they don't want mum and dad's help. They want help from someone else. So. Um, we need you both there as well for this. Uh, the reason being you're both gonna have separate sets of questions that we wanna answer for you. Also, it doesn't leave one parent trying to explain to the other parent. Now, we're a membership-based organisation, so down the track, if we decide we're all gonna work together, you're gonna need to interview us and we're gonna need to interview you as parents as well to make sure we're all happy to work together. Now, you spoke to one of our lovely team on the phone. They would have provided you with an emergency contact number. Now, the reason for that You'd be surprised how many times a child will fall off a bike on the morning of uh, the assessment. And we wanna make sure that everyone's happy and healthy and that everyone can be there. So if you could please just let us know if there's a problem, give us a call on that emergency number and we'll make a time to see your family before we leave your area. Now, well, I mentioned before, this isn't a test. This isn't gonna be something scary and we're not there to make the children feel bad about things that they don't know. What we wanna do is identify any little gaps try and, well, we'll, we'll get the children to um, fix their own gaps. So we'll want to leave your house with them feeling really empowered um, about education and excited. Now, if they're at the top of the tree or if they're at the bottom of the class, we know that that's going to affect the children's feelings. So they could be sitting there feeling really dumb right now or feeling really great and about to walk into next year's teacher that they might not get on with. One of the things that we know is life changes. Life's always changing. If we can have education as a constant, so if your child's working at their full potential through all life changes, then that's gonna have an, a huge effect on their self-esteem and their confidence. As a parent, as I said, the worst thing is not knowing. Um, we're gonna make sure that after we catch up with you, uh, whether it's today or tomorrow, um, that you're gonna know, and that's gonna give the power back to the parent. We look forward to catching up with you and having some fun.